like it. Hey everybody, we're back. We had to buy a new camera because the other one broke, so it's been a few weeks since we made a video. But anyways, today we're gonna make um, a pasta dish. This is gonna be a ricotta pesto with rigatoni. So we're gonna make a pesto from scratch. Uh, we have some, some Thai basil, some garlic, some Parmesan cheese, and some, this is just uh, regular olive oil. Um, and then we have some rigatoni we boiled and put a thin layer of olive oil earlier. And we also have some ricotta cheese which we're gonna add at the end. And we kinda cheated and bought a pre-washed bag of spinach. So we're gonna make that pesto first and then we're just gonna incorporate everything together. It's really fast. Shouldn't take more than uh, 10 minutes to do this. All right, well, let's start on the pesto. Oh, so this is what my pesto came out to. Usually you can add some type of a walnut or a pine nut or something, but I didn't have any on hand. Just put a little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna get a, a, a pan and cook up some spinach with some olive oil, and then I'm gonna add the pasta, the pesto, and lastly, at the very end, we're gonna throw in the ricotta cheese. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay. Get stop. No, seriously. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So here is... Is that on? Yes. Okay, so I got the... Uh, put some olive oil in a wok, and I'm gonna just... Crap, uh, throw in some spinach. There's a lot of other things you could actually put in here, but I don't have any of them, tell me to say. Uh, such as? Such as some cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms, maybe some eggplant. I have none of those. Maybe some onion. Actually, uh, this is a vegetarian dish, minus the ricotta, but some bacon would be really good in here. Any type of uh, Italian sausage. Um, chicken. Let me turn down the heat. I think it's melting my eyebrows. Then we're gonna throw in some pesto. It's up to you how much garlic you want to put in here. If you're on the, you know, if you're getting close to somebody later, it's probably not the, you want to go a little easy on it. I'm just gonna throw in a little salt. Throwing in a little of this uh, green bottle cheese just to bind it a little bit. I know it's probably like the, the one thing everyone says never to use, but it's actually not too bad. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my heat. And last but not least, yeah, there's no tab on here. I don't, why you said like... Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna cut a hole. Okay. And I'm gonna throw some in here. add a little more pesto at the end. Ricotta is nice because it's not too heavy. It is creamy. It's not too rich, but it does give it a nice texture. Most commonly used in um, lasagna. There's also a few desserts that you can make with it. But it has a little bit of a tart, not, not as much as sour cream kind of curry like a well-rounded cottage cheese, I guess. So just imagine how good it would look with the tomatoes. One more. All 
All right, now we're gonna plate it and we'll show you what it looks like outside of the pan. So here you have it. Well, I'll put a little more cheese and some spinach leaves on the top. It's a very simple, nutritious dish, and just add whatever you want at the end. My assistant keeps on telling me to add tomatoes, but there's literally cherry, cherry tomatoes. I've I've been uh, corrected, but there's no limit to the amount of fun you can have with this dish. So give it a try, and let us know how you like it. See you next time.